Hi there, and welcome to the next in our series of Virtual Belfry Micro Lessons. Now, in this lesson, I want to look specifically at how you can set up the views, what you see on the screen when you're using Virtual Belfry, uh, and you, so that you can set this to give you the feedback that you want whilst you're ringing or whilst you're teaching somebody else to ring. Now, this is part of the Virtual Belfry Micro Lessons series. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click the bell so that you will get notifications when new lessons are uh, uploaded. So I've got Virtual Belfry uh, here on the screen in front of me. So let's get started. If you look at the basic layout we have here, we have what is probably the most common uh, use we have the ropes view so we've got all of our ringers here in front of us we've got a six bell tower which we've selected uh, from the uh, bells drop down on the left hand side here uh, you'll notice this only goes up to eight if you want 12 bells then you'll need to change to a 12 bell tower uh, and we have the usual settings for things like peel speeds um, so that's used when you're ringing and we have our method selection, our start and go button. But there's lots of other information that is in the back of Virtual Belfry that you don't see unless you select one or other of the uh, the views on along the top here. Now, I've deliberately uh, not clicked the one on the left because that's an add-on. And this is the Bells view. Very useful if you are doing things like an open day, for example. You can have this uh, on your... Uh, on your simulator PC and you can actually show people what happens in a belfry when you're ringing because of course it is um, animated all right but this is an add-on you have to purchase that extra from belfryware when you do that you get this extra bells um, selection tab at the top uh, Normally, you will just have the ropes, the blue line, places striking, and your history. Now, the one view which I find is really useful uh, as a bit of a reminder, particularly when I'm looking to learn a new method, is to have the blue line available to me. Now, obviously, you can generate the blue line of what you're about to ring and look at it, but it's actually quite useful to have some feedback a on the striking and B what you've just done because sometimes you uh, can forget that so it's very simple to do if you're in the ropes menu and you go over to the view on the left hand side you have this block here of main and separate which is actually the window selection and what we can do is we can say well we've got the blue line here if we take the blue line and click the separate button we can actually take this and move it around. We can, if you're using two screens, you can move it and put it onto a different screen. Um, but you can actually have feedback whilst you're ringing of, of where you've been. Now, now, what happens whilst you're ringing is this is building up without, in fact, having the striking information as well. The early strike on the left-hand side here and the late strike on the right-hand side is a blue and a red bar, uh, respectively. But this can be quite useful to be able to detach these windows. A word of caution, if you detach a window, then it puts more, I would say, strain uh, on the computer that you're using. And consequently, if you find you have a lot of windows open um, in separate mode, then you can find that the bell, the bells start to get syncopated. They start to get, they're not absolutely bang on time. So if you find that, or you, if you're lapped, top is not powerful enough to do it just stick to maybe one window um, I know that if I open all of mine then this particular uh, laptop which is quite powerful uh, will start to syncopate so you then can if you want to look at your places and you can separate that put that somewhere else on the screen so whilst you're ringing you're now going to get two lots of feedback uh, whether you particularly want them and where you want them, you can set yourself. Uh, 
if you lose where they are and you've got no idea if you so if you're particularly if you're running two screens uh, and you move one of these out onto another screen and then you go back to one screen and it's still on the other screen uh, but so you can't see it you can click the restore separate windows button and that will bring everything back to uh, the original size and position so you can then do what you want with them again okay little little tip for you um, so what you actually then see uh, if you ring if we go straight into playing Bob doubles you can see you've got your method building up from the bottom and you've got your uh, places window showing what's happening the fe the uh, grayed out ones are bells that are not changing position and Obviously, the ones that are moving are changing position. Okay, and on the left-hand side, you can see what you've just done. Um, and if I use the keyboard to kick in as bell number two. You can see you now get the feedback of where the... Uh, where your striking is with early and late indications to the side as well. So lots and lots of feedback is available to you. How much you actually want or don't want is, is up to you. So views, very, very useful tool. Uh, get to know them. Get to know that with any of them, once they're visible, you'll get a... Uh, a little tab on the left hand side with the options for them so here we have the options uh, for our um, blue line and here we have the option for our uh, places window all right so as soon as they're visible you can see them uh, and you can simply put them back into place by checking the main button here to put them back into the main display so there you go very quick um, micro lesson on setting up your views in virtual belfry i hope that's been useful um, and yeah we'll get some more of these done and i look forward to seeing you all soon